Hi, in this episode of the Blender Beginner's Guide, I want to show you the quad view in Blender. You can access the option from View, Toggle Quad View, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control Alt Q. Let's click on the option and you see how this splits our view in four different views. We have Tab Ortho, we have Camera Perspective, we have Front Ortho and we have Right Ortho. We can change the camera perspective by pressing the 5 key on the numpad and this will give us user ortho and if you want to switch to user perspective we need to press the 5 key again and again in this window we can orbit, we can zoom in and out and we can pan around and the whole point of this quad view is for us to have a perspective view of our selected object and also have the different ortho views which allows us to make easy selections and modify our objects. Now have in mind that some of the keyboard shortcuts we've learned so far will not work on all four views and only on this view over here. Like the 5 key, even if I mouse over the top ortho here and press the 5 key, you'll see that I'm only affecting this view over here. And if I mouse over the front ortho for example, and you see that I can zoom in and out. I can also pan around, but I cannot orbit. Another keyboard shortcut that I showed you in previous videos is the Del key on the numpad. And if I mouse over on the different views and press the Del key to view selected, you'll see that this is only affecting the view that I have my mouse over at the moment. Now let's do something simple here. Press the Z key to display the object as a wireframe, then press the Tab key to enter edit mode, then A key to deselect. Also make sure you have vertex select on, then press the B key, click, drag and select these vertices. Next I'm going to select this option to scale, then click on this handle and drag it towards the center of the object. And then I'm going to press the Z key to change the viewport shading to solid again. And you see now we have a pretty good idea how our object looks from the top, from the front, from the right, and also from the user perspective. So the quad view is a very good tool to always keep track of what's happening to the object as you modify it. Of course, different people have different preferences. Some prefer to use it, some not, but I recommend that you use it and have a better idea of what you're doing. And there's a lot more to cover, but this is it for this tutorial. I'm going to continue in the next one. That's it for now, bye.